what should I be focusing on in the one and a half or two minutes before a Plab 2 case? You're standing outside the cubicle, you're reading the information. How do you get your brain in the right space to go and maximize the next case and score as many marks as possible? I'm Dr. Amin Arora from Aurora Medical Education. I've helped thousands of doctors prepare and pass Plab 2. And this video is gonna cover three key things to think about before you walk in that room to get your mindset in the right place so you can go and maximize the marks that you get in the upcoming scenario in front of you. That time can be make or break. You can either stress and worry and think about nothing and go blank, or you can prepare and be focused and have a pattern that you go back to each and every time. So once again, we're in the beautiful island of Koz in Greece. It is so nice, it's super hot, the sun is blazing down, but I thought I'd make this quick video for you guys if you're preparing for Plab 2 right now. Let's get these three things out, three things that you must focus on before you jump into your next case. Let's go. So the first thing to focus on before you walk into that room is the basic plan. What are the issues in this case and how do I bring them back in the second half? For those of you guys who've done our teaching, done our live courses, online course, mocks, etc., you'll know we talk a lot about issues and keeping things simple. So in the first half of your job, remember your mindset should be, let me understand as many issues as possible. Medical issues, non-medical issues, life issues, mind issues, ethical issues, focus on issues and then think about bringing those issues back in the second half. So before you walk into any case in this exam, make sure your brain has been set to issues. What are they? How do I find them out? And then how do I bring them back and mention them in the second half? So reset every time you're about to walk into your Plab 2 case, forget what happened in the last one. Think about basic plan, issues in the first half, issues back in the second half. Second thing to reset your mind onto is bubbles. Now again, for those of you guys who've been taught by us before, you know we talk about the three Aurora bubbles, red flags, psychosocial, ice. Try and reset your mind to think about these three things. So when you walk into that door, those things are top of your priority. You're thinking, I need to get these three bubbles done to understand the issues that we talked about in point one. So red flags, what are the issues for a doctor, things we can't afford to miss. Psychosocial, what are the issues in people's lives? How does life affect medicine? How does medicine affect life? And then ICE, getting issues of the mind. Make sure your focus, your thinking is all about, I need to get through these three bubbles to understand as many issues as I can so I can bring them back in the second half. So remember, whenever you're thinking about a case, before you walk in that door, think about issues and think about three Aurora bubbles. And the third thing to set your mind again and again and again before you walk into every single case are the three S's of the second half. Number one, situation. Number two, safety. Number three, story going forward. So make sure you think simple and make sure you get these three S's in through your mind before you walk into every single case. Remember, you may have a really bad case and it's quite hard to focus in that middle period. Think about these three S's, okay? Think about situation first. Remember, we talked about this a lot in our courses on our previous videos. Situation first. Your management must be about the situation before the condition. Number two, safety. Make sure whatever you're doing in that second half, are you a safe clinician? Are you managing this situation in a safe and responsible way? And thirdly, focus on the third S, story forward. Whatever you do in that next consultation ahead of you, make sure you've taken the story ahead of where you found it in the first place. How do you do that? Doing the three bubbles, understanding issues, bringing the math, the other two points that we talked about. But it's about getting your brain to focus on certain things before each case, so you walk into that case with the best possible approach. Three S's of management, situation first, safety first, story going forward. Now I'll summarize these things again in a bit more detail, but just before we go forward, remember, please use the coupon Aurora Video 10 for 10% off anything on the website. Plab2 Mocks, Plab2 Online Course, Plab2 Live Course, Plab2 Audiobooks, Plab2 Flashcards, whatever's going to help you get through that exam, make sure you get 10% off. And if you find this video of some value, please do subscribe, share, and like to this video. And there's so many more Plab2 videos on the channel, so I really hope you get full value out of those. But remember, Three things to focus on before you walk into any single case. Remember, your mind can go blank or you can use that time really effectively. But to use that time effectively, you have to focus and know what are the things that I'm going to think about when I'm in that stressful situation. Number one, refocus on the basic plan. It's an issues game. Understand issues in the first half, bring back issues in the second half. Number two, refocus on the three Aurora bubbles. Red flags, psychosocial, ice. They give you the issues that you can then bring back. And number three, Think about the three S's for the second half. Situation first, safety first, and take the story forward. Now you've got to train your brain to think about these things in that stressful situation. So whenever you do role play practice going forward, whenever you're doing cases or mocks yourself right now, 
think about these three things before you jump into any single case so that when you come around to the exam, you've trained your brain to refocus every single time, no matter what happened in the last case, you've got to get yourself back on track. It's a new examiner, new assessor, new case. No one knows what happened before. You've got to reset your brain. And these three things can hopefully help you get the most out of the time that's coming up in the next subsequent case. I really hope this video has been of some value. Like I said, so much plat 2 material on the channel. Please do have a look for those videos if you haven't. At this point, you know the hashtag, campus will pass, hashtag I went with a robber. Have a super day.